A year from now, you may wish you had started today. Karen Lamb. Procrastination is a coping technique, more often than an act of laziness. An easier life is not a tardy life. There's nothing easy about being late. Sometimes we are being childish. Either we're overextended ourselves and are thus unrealistic or like children, we are resistant to being controlled. Kids say things like, you're not the boss of me, or who's going to make me? And how often are we dealing with adult issues with an 11-year-old mentality? Maturity and tenacity are muscles that we exercise. Vigilance is one way we show up for ourselves today. If we have to do something, who are we doing it for? A passive-aggressive reaction to someone's perceived control over us may trigger avoidance or delay. Do we want the positive outcome from our effort or does someone else? Regardless of who needs we are serving, do a given task might still be the best choice for us? Given all the alternatives, Maybe we said we would do something to gain approval. Do we agree to do things we think something is expected of us? We need to examine our goals. What do we wish we had started a year ago? Let's say we're thinking about going back to school. Would this give us control or take it away? Is being a starving student going to affect our status or reputation? If so, how important is that? Even when the goal is calling in life, there will be obstacles to overcome. It won't be a free ride. We are sure we want something, we want to do something. We have to be ready for setbacks, avoid our impulse reactions. Most importantly, We have to get started. Thanks for starting your day with hammock readings. And we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Tomorrow.